नमस्कार अवर टुडे इज रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत तव कथामृत तप्त जीवन कविभिरीडित कलम शाप श्रवण मंगल श्रीमदात भवि गृणंती भूरीदा जना श्री श्री रामकृष्ण कथामृत प्रथम बाग प्रथम खुंडो तृतीय पुरीच्छेद and in this trutiyo parichhed or third chapter it is dvitiyo darshan o guru shishya sambhad the second visit of shri m and the dialogue between the guru and shishya the teacher and disciple uh, so practically we can see uh, say this is the chapter from where shri m started considering shri ram krishna as his guru why because Shri M was very much impressed and had started feeling great attraction towards Shri Ram Krishna after his first visit. Uh, during the first visit, uh, Shri M had heard some uh, teachings of Shri Ram Krishna when he was talking to the devotees. That. Uh, what is the time when the formal worship the formal ritualistic worship of a devotee comes to an end and he has indicated that when devotee just by hearing the name of the lord his hair stand on end the devotee start shedding tears for the lord consider that time has come for the devotee to end his formal worship then all he has to do is just repeat the name of lord ram hari or even if that is not possible just repeat om why because shri ram krishna substantiated it further that as the aspirant makes progress on the spiritual path all the formal worship like sandhya etc gets merged into the mantra sandhya gets merged in gayatri mantra which is the core of sandhya vandana and further the gayatri itself gets merged into omkar so omkar is the ultimate and shri m was very much fascinated by this teaching and also wondering how come a person who is illiterate who has not studied any books no formal education can be so knowledgeable and that's when when after the first visit m was going back he decided that well i must come second time i will come second time maybe tomorrow or day after morning and we see shri m has again landed up at dakshineshwar shri thakur talking to him about first of all about the general things of shri m's stay at varanagar then about keshav chandra sen thakur expressing his anxiety over keshav being not well because thakur's concern was if keshav is not well with whom will he talk to when he goes to calcutta because thakur wanted to share his experiences of his spiritual advents of his sadhana of his realization with the people so that people can be illumined that was the concern for the people for the general folk that thakur had for which thakur wanted keshav to get well so that he could talk to someone when he happened to go to calcutta and meet other people for which he had even made a vow to the divine mother mother mac keshav bell i will offer you tender coconut the green coconut and sugar dab chini debo from there the talk came to another major teaching which shri m carried with him after this visit and that teaching was pertaining to the 
duties of householder and especially duties of parent of the uh, pay, duties of father towards his children grostho o pitar kortobbo shri ramkrishna protaper bhai eshechilo ekhane koyo din chilo kash kormo noi bole ami ekhane thakbo shunlam মাক ছেলে সব শ্বশুর বাড়িতে রেখেছে অনেকগুলি ছেলে পিলে আমি বকলুম দেখো দেখি ছেলে পিলে হয়েছে তাদের কি আবার ওপাড়ার লোক এসে খাওয়াবে দাবাবে মানুষ করবে লজ্জা করে না যে মা ছেলেদের আর একজন খাওয়াচ্ছে আর তাদের শ্বশুর বাড়ি ফেলে রাখিছে অনেক বকলুম আর কর্মকাজ খুঁজে নিতে বললুম তবে এখানে থেকে যেতে চাই ওয়ান্ডারফুল টিচিং ফর নট অনলি দিস প্রতাপ ব্রাদার বাট ফর অল দা হাউস হোল্ডার্স Now, we don't know exactly uh, which Pratap's brother Thakur is referring to. Uh, I don't know whether Pratap Hazra, who used to stay at uh, the Kshineshwar. But uh, this uh, version of uh, Kathamrut talks about uh, pra- brother of Pratap Chandra Mujumdar, who was a disciple of uh, Keshav Chandra Sain. So, this Thakur is uh, telling Sri M about this particular person. Possibly Pratap Chandra Muzumdar because earlier the talk was about Kesha Chandra Sain. And uh, he says Pratap's brother had come here. He was here for quite some days. Doing nothing, no work, nothing. And uh, shamelessly he said, I am going to stay here. Like, as if he is going to do a lot of uh, spiritual austerities and then Thakur says I've heard I'd heard that uh, he has left his wife and children at his father-in-law's place a lot of children he has and that's when I took him to task now Thakur is giving a major teaching to M and to all the householder disciples and devotees who are going to come and ami boklom i took him to task i gave him i i told him sternly look you have got children chele pile hoyeche will these be fed and taken care of by the neighbors your children it is your responsibility you don't don't you feel ashamed that your wife and kids will be taken taken care of by your father in law are you not ashamed and like this i scolded him so much i told him better look for some job and take care of your wife and children to be ekhane theke jete chai then listening to these words stern warning of shri thakur pratap's brother decided to leave the place go back home and take care of his uh, family now thakur himself uh, renunciate he was a wonderful renunciate tyagi at the same time he was a great householder and this is how his teachings always focused teachings for monastics teachings for householders and this particular teaching was specifically to m who in fact had got fed up with his worldly problems family problems and at one point of time he had even contemplated 
committing suicide. And that was the situation under which one day he and Sidhu, they landed up while walking from one garden to another garden. They landed up at Dakshineshwar. Sri M. saw Thakur for the first time and he was much fascinated. Having found his ultimate shelter and Probably that was the reason why Sri Thakur gave this example, told M about this Pratap's brother who had shamelessly left his wife and children with his father-in-law, come to Dakshineshwar saying, Thakur, I will stay here now, do spiritual austerities. And Thakur took him to task with stern words that Better you start looking for work, take up some work, earn money and take care of your wife, your children, feed them, make them grow. And that's when after listening to Thakur's stern words, strict words, strict counsel, strict advice, no nonsensical teaching. Pratap's brother finally decided to leave Dakshineshwar, go back home. <clears throat> so this is where the third chapter, uh, Sri M's second visit ends with this wonderful teaching, not only for M, but for all of us householders. Let us keep that in mind. Fulfill our duty as a householder, pure, fulfill our duty as a parent, fulfill our duty as the family. So with that, we close this uh, chapter here today. Om Namah Shri Bhagavate Ramakrishna.